So many unanswered questions tonight about the murder of a caretaker who went missing in Winter Park. Tonight, News 6 has learned the medical examiner has completed its autopsy on Jennifer Fulford's body. But as News 6's Matt Petrillo shows us, the details of how she died are being kept under wraps. Well, the Orange County Coroner's Office says it cannot yet release the manner or cause of Jennifer Fulford's death, and that's because the Winter Park Police Department is still investigating her homicide. Tonight, many people in her community are still mourning. Oh, she will be missed. Many people who live in this Altamont Springs community are thinking of their neighbor and friend, Jennifer Fulford. She was found dead over the weekend in a wooded area near a Popka Vineland Road just a few days after she was reported missing to Winter Park Police. That's just a terrible thing to have happen. It's so we're really sad about it. Authorities have not released the details around Fulford's death, but her friends are remembering her life as someone who always thought of others, whether she was making soup for a sick neighbor or watching a friend's dog during Hurricane Irma. And she was just a good person, you know, one of these people that you would feel like it was an honor to know and that, that she's gone is just almost unfathomable. You just it's very hard. Police believe Fulford's homicide is random and that 53 year old Scott Nelson may be involved. Nelson was captured on surveillance video using Fulford's debit card on Wednesday, the same day she went missing. Then Nelson was found by police in Jacksonville, where he traveled to by train and was staying in a motel, all of which he paid for using cash. And it looks really bad for him. New six legal analyst Steve Kramer says the police investigation against Nelson is looking strong. Maybe he's got a good explanation for that. And if he does, you know, as his defense attorney, that's what I'd be looking at is going ahead and explaining some of these actions. And, and Scott Nelson has not faced any charges related to Fulford's homicide, but he is in custody on a parole violation in Orange County. Matt Petrillo, New Six.